Hey, what's up? I was uh, thinking about this story uh, from the Bible that it, you know, caught my caught my eye, if you will, uh, when I first started reading the Bible, and I wanted to make a quick video about it. It's about Moses and his wife Zipporah. It's in uh, Exodus, I believe it is. Anyway, so. Um, Moses accepts the mission to go to Egypt to go free the Hebrews from Pharaoh. Even though Yahweh tells him explicitly that he's going to make his job hard on purpose. So he, he gets Zipporah, his wife, and his son. And Yahweh then proceeds to attempt to kill Moses. Zipporah some way somehow finds out that Yahweh is going to kill Moses, takes a sharp stone or a knife, it says it's a stone, and takes the tip of their son's penis, chops off the tip or the hood, essentially uh, circumcise, circumcising him, and then throws the foreskin at Moses's foot or feet and that prevents Moses from being killed by Yahweh that story then just they, they just don't talk about it they don't explain nothing about it so I was thinking about how you would film that right it's a I think it's a nonsensical story but it, it raises a lot of questions for me one of the questions that it raises is, how did Zipporah know that Moses was about to be killed? The only way that I can think of is that she saw Yahweh, which the Bible says you can't see Yahweh unless you are um, you're going to be killed because you can't see him. Even though other people have seen him, but you know that's that's just one of the contradictions. So she must have seen Yahweh, which is the first thing. Next, she must have known that he was about to kill Moses. Moses doesn't seem to have been aware. Moses probably didn't even know what to do if he saw Yahweh and was aware that Yahweh was about to kill him. And also, how did Zipporah know what to do to keep Moses from being killed by Yahweh. She had to know beforehand that mutilating her son's genitals was a good way to keep Yahweh from killing Moses. She takes the stone, chops off the little boy's wanker, and then throws it at his feet. Why his feet? Why not his forehead? Why not his lips? Why not his ear? Why not his nipples? It doesn't say. However, this act preserves Moses' life. Moses is one of the biggest characters in the Hebrew mythologies, but nobody seems to give Zipporah props for saving that story. Um, saving Moses that proceeds to help the story get along because he's a great biblical uh, hero or whatever. Uh I don't know what the apologies for this story are, but I'm sure they're hilarious like most of the other uh, apologies. So if if Yahweh is afraid of uh, penis foreskins, that means that anybody who wants, who doesn't want to be harmed by Yahweh, you need to keep some foreskins on you, which foreskin is a big thing in the Bible, if you didn't know. It, I mean, people... People have gotten killed for it, literally. Um, you can buy a wife for the right price with a bag of foreskins, if you didn't know. So Zipporah was not even Hebrew. She was a Midianite. Um, I don't want to say a princess, but she, you know, her dad was a big, uh, a big um, religious leader in the Median community so she must know a thing or two about how to 
uh, of what getting killed by some god. But, you know, I'm asking these questions to be semi-serious, but um, I just don't understand how people don't see that this is uh, mythology. Uh, and if the Christian devil, which I know is different from the Jewish Satan, uh, if the devil was real, then surely the devil must keep some penis parts, namely foreskins, around so that if he ever has any problems with Yahweh, he knows to throw it or rub it on his foot or feet, whichever um, helps. Uh, let me see. Do I have any other questions? Well, I just, you know, I'm making this video just to talk about how she doesn't get enough props. Zipporah should get more more props because she saved uh, Moses' life. Also, Yahweh is crazy. He is a psychotic. He's schizophrenic. Um, and he's not a good person to work for. Uh you, if you say yes, he tries to kill you. If you say no, he doesn't listen to your wish. Because Jonah said no, and it didn't work out. So you don't really have free will. Of course, he manipulates the Pharaoh so that the plagues happen. And he explained he did it just because he's just he's just terrible like that. He's evil. Um, and I just don't understand how grown people like take it seriously i believe that you know the hebrews or the israelites or the jews whatever name you want to use are going to have different apologies for this story than uh, the christians are and and whoever else you know it's all going to be different stories uh, but uh, she's a big hero in that she saved moses life and they, they act like it's nothing. You know, they don't even give her props. But that's just the way it is if you're a female, right? If you're in the Bible, you don't get any kind of credit. All you do is basically make babies and cater to men. And I think that's pretty bad. And I don't understand how females are even religious, knowing that uh, in some instances you are blamed for the very downfall of men. But... um so I just wanted to make this quick video, and uh, uh, if you have any thoughts, questions, or comments, you know, of course, leave them there, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, I appreciate your time. Thanks.